Yes, where better to test the next generation of the all-Australian car than in the Aussie Outback? After all, this is the country that invented the ute. Farmers and tradesmen have been using the ute as a tool of the trade for over 70 years. But the thing is, I don't reckon Holden's got the tradesmen in mind with this generation. So this is the SSV model, it's the top of the range, which means you get a 6 litre V8 engine hooked up to a 6 speed automatic transmission in this case. You get the 19 inch performance alloy wheels and the Bridgestone rubber, very good. Now the biggest change to the ute this time around, apart from the cabin which I'll get to in a sec, is the tray. A lot of differences. First off, it's deeper than it was before, gives you more cubic capacity, but the changes here where the old one used to come down at a bit of an angle, this one goes straight down, so you lose a bit of that space at the bottom. You do gain a neat little cubby hole in the back, but I'll show you those in a sec. Now Holden's been very careful not to piss off the mini bike market. So they've made sure that you can fit a full size mini bike on an angle. But it's what's in the tray that's the most interesting, so let's take a look. It's got the same peel back system as the last year, which is a lot easier on the fingers, especially on a cold morning. But it's what's inside the tray that I really like. Now you get a tray liner for starters, which is great. You also get these decent tie down hooks and they look nice and rugged. Most interesting, you get these little divots here which are ready made to take a divider system. So if you're carrying a smaller load, you can pack it in there nice and easily. But I'm a bit curious as to how many people really are gonna carry tradesman style tools in the back here. I mean, I can see jet skis sitting in the back, water skiing equipment, mountain bikes, maybe camping gear, but plumbing equipment? Not this ute. Now, one area where the last Commodore ute really trailed the Falcon was in interior versatility, but Holden's done a thorough job this time. For starters, you've got a single release lever on the seat, hooks forward and gives you good access to enough area to store a backpack or a decent sized bag, and you've also got these little cubby holders down here designed to take a laptop or your stash of magazines. From here, the Commodore Ute looks a lot like the sedan. In fact, I cannot pick one area where this SSV ute is different to the sedan. And that's good news for ute buyers. It means that you get a very civilised interior. SSV gives me the nice thick sports steering wheel, leather seats, I've got dual zone climate control, and it brings more too. First time on a ute, electronic stability control, a big bonus. One area it does miss out though, is curtain airbags. Unfortunately, we don't get them. Now it doesn't drive exactly like the sedan. There are differences and you can pick them. It is firmer in the rear, got more of a jiggly ride. That'll probably even out if you chuck a couple of hundred kilos in it, which Holden reckons no one's gonna do. But when you get right down to it, the engine is still a ball terror, transmission's still a cracker, steering is wonderful. It is the best handling ute Holden's ever built. Look, it's not perfect, okay? This car had a couple of niggles when we picked it up from the showroom. It also hasn't got the best matching trim in the world. Some of the gaps are a bit, bit how's your father? But let's get back to reality for a moment. This is a $45,000 two-door V8 sports car. Forget ute, forget farmers, it's wasted on them. It's too good for them. So let's face it, this car is the 21st century sports car for the Aussie male.